Gab. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to The Stew. Wait, wait, wait. I think there seems to be something off here, Gab. Hmm, you're right, Kate. I can't quite figure out what's going on. We're just pulling your leg, guys. Happy April Fools, y'all. <laughs> we wanted to kick off the LCTV April Fools extravaganza with a little prank. And I'm sure you guys are chuckling away right now. <laughs> Before we give you the deets of today's shenanigans, let's chat about these stupids. Mm -hmm. Today I'm wearing just some plain black leggings, plain white t-shirt. The real star of the show is this new denim tigger, like vintage Winnie the Pooh shirt that my sister thrifted mm. for me. And I switched it up today with the yellow checkered vans. I love this outfit, it's so cute. Thank Very you. nostalgic. Yes. <laughs> today I am wearing these blue checkered pants, black plain little tank, and this kind of sporty jacket, all thrifted of course. And then my yellow Converse, which I don't think I've debuted here yet. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how matching we are today. I know, we have blue Down and Down to the yellow shoe. Down to the yellow shoe. <laughs> well, in the spirit of the holiday, we wanted to do something a little silly that we haven't really tried before. Mm -hmm. That being said, let us formally invite you to the roast of the stew. Gab and I have prepared some lighthearted jabs lighthearted at each other <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. It's all just funny games here today, so without further ado, let the roasting commence. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Welcome to the Roast of the Stew. We have Kate here tonight. It's a surprise that she actually even showed up on time. <laughs> Kate and I met way back sophomore year. Pretty crazy we live together now. Uh, there are so many perks to living with Kate. One of those perks being that she borrows my dishes <laughs> and doesn't wash them for a couple weeks. I'll start looking around for a utensil, and lo and behold, they're in Kate's dirty dish basket. <laughs> I start to wonder where they've gone. Another perk is that she was a student athlete. You know, everyone knows a student athlete one, one way or another. It really is admirable to see her put in so much effort for the LU field hockey team. However, it's a little absurd the amount that she complained when she never really even touched the field. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> Another thing about living with Kate is that we are almost on opposite schedules. I have to be up early to teach, so I hit the hay pretty early and Kate's definitely a night owl. She claims she has insomnia, but how could anyone sleep after two grande iced coffees, a chai, and two cups of black tea? <laughs> right before bed, that is. <laughs> okay, really got it with that one, guys. Well, we kept it short and sweet tonight, so that's all from me, po folks. Let me pass it on over to Kate. Let's see if she can do better than me. I mean, you all saw the trivia episode, right? <laughs> oh <my> Boom! God. <laughs> Mic drop. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm here all night. I'm here all night. <sighs> that was <amazing. laughs> Oh my god. All right, well, welcome back to part two of the Roast of the Stew. Uh, Gab got me good. Feeling roasted like a rotisserie chicken right now. Um, yeah, let's see how I do. <laughs> Speechless. So, uh, as Gab said, she was surprised that I got here on time. Well, uh, I'm surprised you're awake right now because <laughs> this is about time that she usually is taking her first nap of the day. Yeah, I said first. I know. <laughs> That's a good one. I know being a teacher and waking up at 6.30 every day is exhausting. I feel like I'm with you every day, going to the Haley Pilot together. I'm waking up at 6.30 with her. And I hear every bit of the day, but today she got today off. She got today off. And she made sure to remind me every single day this week that she had today off. 
You know, it's it's honestly a beautiful bond that me and Gab share. I, I never have to guess what she's thinking, because she's always announcing it to me. <laughs> you know, like, you remind me of Katy Perry in the sense of one second you're hot, then you're cold, then you're tired, then you're hungry. It's just, she's a whirlwind of emotions. <laughs> And that's my roommate right there. I get to live with her. And you know, I think one of the favorite parts of living with Gab for me is that I don't feel like the messiest person anymore. <laughs> Anytime Gab is getting ready for an event, the more dressy the event, the, the messier it gets, the room looks like Hurricane Katrina just hit. It, it, it's crazy, and then you know what she ends up wearing? The same crop top and ripped jeans and the dirty white vans. But somehow, clothes are strewn, drawers open, every light on. But you know, I love her. And, and she pulls it together, and I admire her for that. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. That's all for me. You told me they were bad. Oh God, you told so me they were bad. <laughs> well, folks, we're back where we belong, and boy, did Kate deliver. I was not expecting that from her. <laughs> yeah, I surprised myself, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> If you enjoyed all the laughs today, be sure to keep watching LCTV all week long for our April Fools extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Every day this week, your LCTV favorites will be putting a little fresh twist on their episodes, so make sure you keep an eye on our Instagram and our YouTube. Be sure to follow that Instagram, at LaSalle Community TV, and our Instagram, at the stew underscore LU, and the YouTube is just LaSalle Community Television. Mm -hmm. So enjoy the week, prank your friends, laugh a lot, live, laugh, love, live, laugh, love. And we'll catch you on the next episode of The Stew. Catch you on the flip. <laughs> <laughs>